Good morning everyone. Today we are going to continue our revision using module 6, page 5. Since the beginning of the year, we have learned so many things, right? With all of these lessons, you should be able to talk about yourself and people around you confidently. So, at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to talk about yourself, which includes your name, your age, your favorite color, your favorite number, and your favorite toy. Let's read together. My name's Adam. My name's Lily. My name's Ravi. My name's Emma. Sometimes I hear you say my name without the sound S. Remember, you need to make the sound clear. My names. It comes from the phrase my name is. My names. Okay, now let's write these sentences. In English, all sentences are written with punctuation. They start with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Let's take a look at the first example. My name's Adam. It starts with capital M and ends with a full stop. Next, my names. Don't forget to add an apostrophe here. Because the phrase my name is, is shortened to become my names. My name apostrophe s adam it's a name right so the first letter only should start with a capital letter my name's lily capital letter m in the beginning names with an apostrophe lily starts with a capital l and it ends with a full stop. Next, my name's Ravi. Capital M in the beginning. Names with an apostrophe. Ravi starts with capital R and it ends with a full stop. Okay, now, can you try to point out the punctuation with me? My name's Emma. Which punctuations do we use here? Yes, capital letter M in the beginning. Names with an apostrophe. Emma starts with capital E and it ends with a full stop. Okay, that's how you say and write a sentence to tell your name. Okay, now how do we tell our age? When people ask you, how old are you? You can simply say, I'm, then followed by your age. Okay, repeat after me. I'm seven. I'm four. I'm twenty. I'm thirty. Let's look at how to write this sentence correctly. I'm seven. It starts with capital I. I am is shortened to I'm. So you need an apostrophe there. I apostrophe M. Okay? Seven. Seven is not a name. So don't use capital letter here. All right, and then finally, end the sentence with a full stop. I'm 
four. Capital I. I'm with an apostrophe. And finish the sentence with a full stop. I'm twenty. Capital I. I'm with an apostrophe. Then finish the sentence with a full stop. I'm thirty. Okay, tell me the punctuations you see. Capital I. I'm with an apostrophe. Then it ends with a full stop. Easy, right? Okay, now let's talk about our favorite things. We have learnt about numbers, colors, and toys. So let's talk about our favorite color first. When someone asks you, "What's your favorite color?" you start your answer with, "My favorite colors." Here are some examples. My favorite colors: green. My favorite colors: yellow. My favorite colors blue. My favorite colors purple. Okay, to write this sentence, as usual, we start with capital letter. My favorite colors green. My with capital M. Colors with an apostrophe because color apostrophe s is a contraction from the phrase color is. Color is colors. Okay. Don't forget to finish with a full stop. My favorite colors yellow. Start with capital M. Colors with an apostrophe. And then end with a full stop. My favorite colors blue. Start with capital M. Colors with an apostrophe, and then end with a full stop. My favorite colors purple. Capital M at the beginning. Again, colors with an apostrophe. And then there's a full stop at the end. Okay, next let's talk about your favorite number. Okay, repeat after me. My favorite numbers one. My favorite numbers five. My favorite numbers. Seven. My favorite numbers ten. Okay, the punctuations here are similar to the previous sentence. My favorite numbers one, capital M, an apostrophe in the word numbers, and then. You see a full stop at the end. Okay, my favorite numbers five. Again, capital M, an apostrophe in the word numbers, a full stop at the end. My favorite numbers seven. Capital M, an apostrophe in the word numbers, and then a full stop at the end. My favorite numbers ten, capital M, an apostrophe in the word numbers, and then a full stop at the end. Okay, lastly, let's talk about your favorite toy. Before this, you have learnt to start your sentence with my favorite toys. My, okay. Today we are going to use another way to write it. Another way is to use a or a 
N before the name of the toy. So start your sentence with my favorite toys a uh, if the toy's name starts with a consonant sound. Or my favorite toys N if the toy's name starts with a vowel sound. Okay? My favorite toys a uh, ball. Ball starts with a consonant sound, b. So we use a ball, okay? My favorite toys, a ball. My favorite toys, an ambulance. Ambulance starts with the sound, eh. It's a vowel sound. So you have to use an ambulance. My favorite toys, an ambulance. Okay, my favorite toys, a computer game. Computer game, k sound is a consonant sound. So we use a computer game. My favorite toys, a go kart. Go kart starts with the consonant sound, g. Okay, so you use a go kart. All right, now let's take a look at the first sentence. My favorite toys, a ball. Can you tell me the punctuations you use here? Capital M, toys with an apostrophe and a full stop. Okay, what about here? My favorite toys and ambulance. Tell me the three punctuations we use here. Yes, one capital M, two toys with an apostrophe, three a full stop. Next, my favorite toys a computer game. What are the punctuations here? Capital M. Toys with an apostrophe. And a full stop. Okay, last. My favorite toys, a go kart. So what are the punctuations we use here? There are four punctuations. Capital M. Toys with an apostrophe, a go cut with a hyphen between the two words, go hyphen cut and a full stop. All right, so in this lesson, we have learned about how to tell basic things about ourselves and how to write them correctly. Okay, I have repeated the punctuation parts many times, which means it's very important. I found many of you still have problems to remember putting simple punctuations, especially full stops. Okay, so after this, I hope you can write correctly without any errors. All right, our written task today is very simple. Look at page 5 in your module. Here, you have to write about yourself, then draw and color. Let's look at the sentences here. The blanks here are for you to fill. I'm. In this case, you can write your name or your age here. Okay, both are accepted. You can say, I'm Hannah. Or you can say, I'm seven. Both are okay. My favorite toys, a uh, or n. Underline the correct word that you are going to use. If you write a toy's name that starts with a vowel sound, underline n. If not, underline a. Uh. Then, followed by the name of your favorite toy. Choose one only. Because a uh, and n means one, okay? My favorite colors, okay? Write one color 
of your favorite here. My favorite numbers. Write one number of your favorite here. And then draw and color yourself with your favorite toy in the circle provided. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.